the uh, Burke Lake. Mm -hmm. I mean, we went to that other place. Garlic mustard. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, this is Abraham Walker with Where to Live in Northern Virginia. I am here with another walking tour of one of our attractions. And I'm here with my better half again, Crystal. How you doing this morning, Crystal? Awesome, awesome. How about yourself? I'm doing very well, doing very well. Today, the temperature is 37 degrees Fahrenheit. So it is brisk. <laughs> that it is. Brisk like the tea. Um, so we are here at, well, you know, before we get into that, uh, on this channel, on this YouTube channel, we not only provide you with educational content, we also provide you with these tours so you could see what there is to do once you move to this area. A lot of our clients are relocating to the area. I mean, some of our clients already live in the area, but they just don't get out. So we're getting out for them, and hopefully we inspire you to get out as well. And enjoy some of the nature that Northern Virginia has to offer. Yes. So I think we're going to start by going to the wetland boardwalk. Okay, so this is where we're going first. This is... All right, so that's the visitor center there. And we're going to the boardwalk. So you already did a video of Huntley Meadows, right? This I never uploaded it because you showed me the boardwalk, the boardwalk, mm -hmm. and I was like, I don't want it. I think that that's way better. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, um... So, there's lots of wildlife uh, here in this particular park. It's actually, uh, I think there's like, what is it, like 1,500? Good morning. Different species can be found here in this park. And so, actually, that's of birds. So, this is like a birder's paradise, which is kind of my nightmare, but... Right. Uh, <laughs> Crystal is afraid of birds. I am petrified of birds. Uh, so, let's keep an eye on it while, while we're walking. Um, but there's lots of different wildlife here as well. Um, so you can find coyote, obviously deer, um, lots of different animals here. And on this part of Huntley Meadows, where we're walking to right now, we're actually going to get to the wetlands. So there's like a little boardwalk we're going to go take a look at. Excellent. Excellent. What's funny about this is Huntley Meadows, we live in Kingstown, which is, I would say the largest subdivision near this particular park mm -hmm. and i've been to huntley meadows but i've never been to this location uh this entrance so there's mm -hmm. there's two or maybe three it's three there are actually three entrances so we're close to the south king's entrance and oddly enough we didn't know there were these other two entrances so today we actually parked at the main entrance on lockheed boulevard and so that's going to take you to the visitor center and also it gives you access to the wetlands over here. And yeah. there's a, um, a third parking spot on Harrison Boulevard. Mm -hmm. And that one also will bring you to um, the wetlands. So <laughs> all the times we've gone to Huntley Meadows, we've never Good morning. We've never seen um, the, the boardwalk. We've seen that little pond. Um, you know, which is cool too, but we've never actually seen, which I guess is the biggest attraction for <laughs> Huntley Meadows. That's funny. This is just another example of how you could live here. We've been here, what, eight years? I think so. Eight years. And we live right down the street from this attraction and we've never been, but we wanted to get out and show you all, our viewers, give you all some great content great reasons to look forward to moving to the area and now we found this little gym now what i will say about the side that we usually visit um is i think that it has more like i think the emphasis more is on the meadows oh. and less on the wildlife gotcha, gotcha. so that's where we see all those interesting flowers where we found all that wheat 
right, um, yes. okay. which our oldest son was really trying to come back and harvest. <laughs> right, yeah. That did not work out. It did not. We don't have a meal. Um, but, yeah. So this walk is actually taking place at the beginning. The, uh, Burke Lake. Mm -hmm. I mean, we went to that other place. Garlic mustard. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, this is Abraham Walker with Where to Live in Northern Virginia. I am here with another walking tour of one of our attractions. And I'm here with my better half again, Crystal. How you doing this morning, Crystal? Awesome, awesome. How about yourself? I'm doing very well, doing very well. Today, the temperature is 37 degrees Fahrenheit. So it is brisk. <laughs> that it is. Brisk like the tea. Um, so we are here at, well, you know, before we get into that, uh, on this channel, on this YouTube channel, we not only provide you with educational content, we also provide you with these tours so you could see what there is to do once you move to this area. A lot of our clients are relocating to the area. When some of our clients already live in the area, but they just don't get out. So we're getting out for them and hopefully we inspire you to get out as well. And enjoy some of the nature that Northern Virginia has to offer. Yes. So I think we're gonna start by going to the wetland boardwalk. Okay, so this is where we're going first. This is, all right, so that's the visitor center there. And we're going to the boardwalk. So you already did a video of Huntley Meadows, right? This I never uploaded it because you showed me the boardwalk, the boardwalk mm -hmm. and I was like, I don't want it. I think that that's way better. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, um, so there's lots of wildlife uh, here in this particular park. It's actually, uh, I think it's like, what is it, like 1,500? Good morning. Different species can be found here in this park. And so, actually, that's of birds. So this is like a birder's paradise, which is kind of my nightmare, but... <laughs> right. Crystal is afraid of birds. I am petrified of birds. Uh, so let's keep an eye on it while, while we're walking. Um, but there's lots of different wildlife here as well. Um, so you can find coyote, obviously deer. Um, lots of different animals here. And on this part of Huntley Meadows, where we're walking to right now, we're actually going to get to the wetlands. So there's like a little boardwalk we're going to go take a look at. Excellent. Excellent. What's funny about this is Huntley Meadows, we live in Kingstown, which is, I would say, the largest subdivision near this particular park. Mm -hmm. And I've been to Huntley Meadows, but I've never been to this location, uh, this entrance. So there's mm -hmm. there's two, or maybe three it's entrances. Three, there are actually three entrances. So we're close to the South Kings entrance. And oddly enough, we didn't know there were these other two entrances. So today we actually parked at the main entrance on Lockheed Boulevard. And so that's going to take you to the visitor center. And also it gives you access to the wetlands over here. And hey. there's a, um, a third parking spot on Harrison Boulevard. Mm -hmm. And that one also will bring you to um, the wetlands. So <laughs> all the times we've gone to Huntley Meadows, we've never... Good morning. We've never seen um, the, the boardwalk. We've seen that little pond, um, you know, which is cool too, but we've never actually seen, which I guess is the biggest attraction for Huntley Meadows. <laughs> That's funny. This is just another example of how you could live here. We've been here, what, eight years? I think so. Eight years. And we live right down the street from this attraction and we've never been. But we wanted to get out and show you all, our viewers, 
give you all some great content, great reasons to look forward to moving to the area. And now we found this little gym. Now, what I will say about the side that we usually visit um, is I think that it has more, like, I think the emphasis more is on the meadows oh. and less on the wildlife. Gotcha, gotcha. So that's where we see all those interesting flowers, where we found all that wheat. Right, um, yes. Okay. Which our oldest son was really trying to come back and harvest. Right, yeah. That did not work out. It did not. We don't have a meal. Um, but, yeah. So this walk is actually taking place at the beginning of December. So this is kind of what you can expect to see late fall, right before winter. I would say the ideal time to come on this type of trail is probably mid fall when the, the leaves are doing a great performance. <laughs> and mid spring because believe it or not early spring in northern virginia is brisk <laughs> well i would also say maybe for this part but i would recommend summertime to visit the south uh, the south kings highway entrance because i really just think the meadows are so beautiful during that time of year right all right we're coming up to a fork in the road Heron Trail is straight ahead, and then Cedar Trail to our left. Which one are we going to, babes? I think we're going to go Heron Trail Heron because Trail. it looks like I can see the water from here. Gotcha. Um, so I think right. I think that's what we're going to do. Let me take a look at the, my little map. <clears throat> Yeah, the wetlands are coming up. Wetland, the natural treasure. So it says here it's a freshwater wetland and it's essential for many animals, providing food, water, and cover. So let's take a look and see. Hold on. All right, there we go. We're back. Lots of photographers out this morning. There are a lot of photographers out. With the super zoom lenses. Yes. Oh wow, it is wet back here. <laughs> that it is. Good morning. Good morning. Microscope? Uh, no, it's not a microscope. It's just a video camera. So this is a, a camera on a gimbal, and then this is a charger right here, and then we have a wireless mic system right there. That's a camera? This is a camera, yes, sir. Wow. It's a 4K camera. Mm -hmm. <laughs> have a good one. You too. Good morning. Outdoors and physical can't be maintained for individual. Okay, perfect. So we are in the coronavirus time period <laughs> uh, as the states. You can't fish here? Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, look at this. It is, but we're actually going to take you guys on a tour. Uh, our next tour actually will be one of the local favorite uh, fishing spots. Fishing holes, the watering yeah. holes. <laughs> it's a park here in Fairfax County. Uh, so make sure you check out our Burke Lake Park video when that's uploaded. Excellent. Since it's getting cold and the missus doesn't like the cold weather, we're going to have to increase the number of videos we do until before it becomes frigid. Wait, I don't like the cold weather? You don't like the cold weather. <laughs> Look at that. Yes. Oh, they're real burgers here. I don't think we're going to be able to go past. I know. 
Unless we... Yeah, we'll cover it up. Oh, your mic, maybe... I'm is... just gonna cover my face. Okay. It's okay. I wasn't able to wear my mask today. Um, <clears throat> which I usually wear even outside. How cool is this? Morning. Hi. Morning. Hello. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Wow. Serious. Mm -hmm. This is not no joke. This is. This is where the birds hang out in Fairfax Valley. I did not expect. <laughs> you didn't know it'd be that many of them. And see, what's funny is we've been to the other location and we've never seen as many people. And that's because this is really the part of the park you want to be in to see the wildlife. Wow, look at how um, many people are here taking photos. Yeah. Everybody has their little... They're not little cameras. You know, it's funny as people look at your camera, you, you, the mm -hmm. camera you usually use, and like, oh, that's a serious camera. No, not at all. Not compared to these folks. These people have suitcases. I mean, yeah, they really do. That is legit a rolling briefcase right there. Look at that. So this actually reminds me of the boardwalk at Theodore Roosevelt Park. Theodore, Although I right. feel like we're more immersed in the uh, wildlife here. You feel Whereas that way here? Yes, I feel like it's closer. I don't know, I think maybe they have rails at Theodore Roosevelt Park. Some parts, yes. Some parts they have it? more sitting areas too. Yeah. Um, you know what we could do is, now that I've been here, or now that we're here, uh, I actually kind of want to come here in the springtime and see, actually like the different seasons. Oh, yeah, definitely. So come and see like what's, this, what's the difference between this walk now and yeah. later. Good morning. Good morning. Definitely. Oh, look at that bird. Everywhere. Ooh, I know. Oh, look, that's a beauty. Is that the one you're talking about? Yes. Mm -hmm. Just stay over there, birdie. Just stay over there. Look at this view. Can you believe they were hiding us from us just because they were parking at the wrong entrance? This, this is what you miss out on. Yeah. Parking at the wrong entrance. Okay, so since this is a real estate channel, let's talk a little real estate. Uh, so Kingstown is the, the largest subdivision. We It took us, what, 15 minutes to get here? 15 minutes to get to this entrance, yeah. Yeah, to get to this entrance. It takes about 10 minutes to get to the south kings highway entrance mm -hmm. um in the kingston area you could find condos townhouses and single family homes it doesn't really make sense to talk to you about the pricing of them because we don't know when you're going to watch this video <laughs> now uh in kingston is one of the largest subdivisions in fairfax county but this park is actually located in the hybla valley area of fairfax county which is also part of alexandria fairfax And in this area, just like most other parts of Fairfax County, you're going to find condos, townhomes, uh, and single family homes. There are more single families in the immediate area. You're about a 20, 25 minute drive from Old Town, uh, King Street, the if you want to use landmarks, you're about, I would say, 35 to 40 minutes away from D.C. Depending on the time of day and traffic. Depend, right. Yeah. yeah. Depending on the time of day of traffic. Come and I on. guess the closest metro here would be Huntington. Huntington, yeah. So that would be the yellow line. Uh, yellow and blue, I believe. <clears throat> no, just yellow. I'm sorry. The yellow line. Do you want to go that way? Do yeah, let's. To the right. To the right. To Morning. the right. 
this video is also being recorded in 4k 60 frames per second so if your device has that capability uh, enjoy enjoy this beautiful 4k now what I want to say um, you know this is a really nice walk it is and you're right it is brisk on the water but it feels good it's not mm -hmm. too cold you know I actually kind of like that the plants are already receding mm -hmm. because you get to see the, the entire view mm -hmm. but I still want I'm looking forward to seeing it in the spring or summer well yes I agree I think the boys will like it I agree the question is <laughs> Will they stay on I think the boardwalk? They do. It's, not, it's a short swim. <laughs> as long as you save them. If you're watching this video, because we have a lot of people who watch these videos that are from the area, the Northern Virginia area, either they moved out of the area or they currently live here and there, and they are living vicariously through these videos. What's your favorite park in the area? Post, a, post it down below in the comment section. What do you like the most? What's your favorite? Good morning. Good morning. My favorite park. I have a favorite. I would say it's going to be Rock Creek Park in hmm. D.C. because I like D.C. So I'm kind of partial to the D.C. area. I I guess in my hmm. mind I can go to, well, uh, you know, I, Great Falls would probably I be. I thought you were going to say Great Falls is your favorite. Yeah, I would say Great Falls as far as the view. But I like to have full day experiences. Mm -hmm. So... When you go to Great Falls, there's nothing really around it. I mean, there's a McDonald's and McLean. <laughs> but other than that, you know, there's beautiful houses around mm -hmm. that area when you drive around. So, But I'm a real estate agent, so houses are like... Boxes? Well, it's just, uh, that's the, you know, I could find joy at looking at houses. But, yeah, I would say Great Falls. Great Falls would be my... <laughs> My, my pick. Why? Well, what about yourself? So my favorite is actually Hidden Pond. Hidden Pond is that hidden the Springfield? Pond is that in, uh, in Springfield? I know Springfield. you guys Ooh. like Annandale. That's Hidden uh, Oaks. Oaks. Yes. But Hidden Pond in in Springfield is my favorite. Uh, I love just the little creek there. Oh, let's go up to the little the stairs. The pond is beautiful. Uh, it's nothing compared to this, though. Um, but yeah, so I like Hidden Pond. I think that's a great. I think that's a great hike. You can do the whole trail um, in one day. I just really enjoy it. Um, and also, I love Theodore Roosevelt Island. Um, yeah, Theodore Roosevelt Island is another one that I would say I like. This Look is at that really view. Neat. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to let you all know this, you're not getting this content anywhere. I'm so pleased with this decision to do these tours. Isn't this, this is the reason why you come, this is why, you, this is why your house costs so much money. You have attractions like this. I right mean that down and the proximity to the district. But well, you know, there's lots to do here in Northern Virginia. There's a lot to do. Uh, there's a lot to do. In your own backyard, whatever community you live in, there are these parks throughout Fairfax County. So each of them is unique. I mean, this is nothing like, say, Burke Lake Park or even Hidden Hidden Pond. They're all different. They are all different. They have different wildlife. In the spring and summer, you can see all the different trees and flowers. And yeah, it's all different. But this is a cool, this is a cool walk. Look at this observation deck. So this is on the observation deck. Uh, we actually came... Let's see if I can do that. So we we parked over to the the right side of the camera, and and now we're deep into the trail. I'd imagine 
what we should do. I guess we should probably maybe go to the end of this boardwalk here mm -hmm. and then turn back around because I don't really see... <clears throat> I don't see much else over there. Well, no. So over here, I mean, this is the main attraction on this side. And um, had we taken the other, had we parked at the Harrison Boulevard entrance? Yes. Then we would have also had the opportunity to see the historic house there. Um, and Alina, so that entrance also would have brought us here. Just a different, um, we just would have started at a different point. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, cool. You ready to go down? Absolutely. My love. Let's head on also, down. Crystal does the administrative side. She is also uh, my wife, <laughs> in case you may not have known. That's what he meant by better half. In right, case, better in half. Case you had any and questions. also, when I called her babes, I didn't want you to think that I was sexually harassing her. Hey, no. All right, so we're going this way. Well, that's nice. They put railings up right here. I think it's because of the maybe the of incline. The incline, yeah. That makes sense. Oh, look, the geese left us a little gift. So, if you are not from the area, one thing that you will get used to is the Canadian geese that migrate here every winter. Yes, they love this area. They love Northern Virginia. Mm -hmm. They are not friendly. They're not sure. um, they also have teeth on their tongues. Yes, they are. But you will get familiar with them quickly because they are not shy. Also, they use the bathroom outside oh. like savages. Savages. Are we sure we need to go all the way? Well, it's like I don't hopscotch. Know what else is over there. It's like hopscotch at this point. So one point uh, about all of the parks in Fairfax County is they're open from, uh, what is it, dusk till dawn. Uh, so they all close at night and reopen the following morning. Um, so there's no gate or anything to get into them, but just thought you'd like to know when you can visit or what the hours are. Perfect. Um... Let's see. What? Oh, you just gonna? Hmm. We're gonna go in. Let's just take here. a look. What were you saying? A little bit. All right, we're at the 22 mark, two, 22 minute mark of this video. So now we are steer trail. Will it loop around, babe? Hmm? Does it loop around? Uh, I don't know. I'll take a look at the map in a second. Once I. You're no longer on the nature trail. Oh, it's no, it's no. Pardon. I'll take, hello. I'll take a look once I get past these folks here. Pardon. Morning. <clears throat> Where am I? Where's my phone? You gonna pull out your trail? I'm gonna pull out my trail map. Trail map, what trail? app that you use? I use uh, all trails, but that's actually not what I'm using today. I'm actually just using the map from the Fairfax County website today. But all trails is a great app that we use when we're um, hiking. It does not make a loop, so we're going to need to turn let's around. See. Well, let's see. We're in Deer Trail now. Yeah, we could take Deer Trail. The loop around Deer Trail will eventually lead us back to that Cedar Trail that we didn't take. Okay. Caution, you are no longer on the Nature Trail. Turn back to return to the Nature Trail. You got it. Oh, look, yeah, so we could. So you can make the full loop and get back to the Visitor Center. Perfect. So that's what we'll do. So what we do is eventually we'll get to a point where we can choose to continue on Deer Trail or go down Cedar Trail. 
So we'll take Cedar Trail and that'll take us back to where we started. Excellent. Okay, perfect. There's this little maps. Way. Yeah, so this is where we are. And we're just gonna hook a right at some point. Otherwise, we would go back. We could go back on the boardwalk to head back. But we'll go see the trail. I guess the. Uh, what, 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 go ahead, Beth. I was gonna say, I'll have to see this place again in the spring. Because it may move up, my, it may move up on my list. You think this is nicer? Well, I want to see it in the spring, so I can get the full effect. Do you see that? Yeah, I do see that. Can That's you pick it up? To, I don't know if I can see it with this little, but it looks beautiful, though, it right? It does, right? I love how the sun is bouncing off of it. I hope you guys can see it on film, but it's like a rainbow. It is. In the water, and it's absolutely beautiful. I said, I hope you can see it in the film. I think I just dated myself. The film? Yes. The film. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you going to take it into Walgreens I to think get I've, developed? I think I just uh, outed my age there. Well, we are getting up there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so peaceful out here, right? It is. All you hear is your footsteps. Mm -hmm. What's crazy is that right outside of here is their houses. Yeah. There's tons of houses. And then just down the road, Richmond Highway, which is a busy road. Very busy but road. You'd never know it. Right here? No, you wouldn't. Okay, I know you didn't ask, but just want to let you all know. So Crystal handles the administrative side of the business. I handle the sales side. So let's assume you're relocating to the area. We would set up a, a meeting virtually, most likely, or a phone call, depending on what you're comfortable with, mm -hmm. right? Your tech preferences. And then after that, we would determine your timeline once we get an idea of what your timeline is, we would talk about the strategy and Crystal is instrumental in both executing that strategy. She handles ske scheduling all the showings, coordinating everything with the vendors, contract to close, and you'll be viewing properties with myself and I'll also be a part of the negotiation process, closing. So that's just like a brief, very brief overview of how we work together. Oh, look, Cujo. <laughs> that dog's huge. It really is. I'm just glad it's on a leash. Yeah, I don't think they can have that. Look how small the leash is. That's amazing, <laughs> these leashes. They look like they should be bigger, especially for that dog. All right, so. We're going to Cedar Trail. So you say you want to go to Cedar Trail or Deer Trail? We're going to go Cedar. We're on Deer Trail now. We're going to go Cedar because if we go this way, we'll end up back on the On the, oh, on the okay. Boardwalk. I see it now. I see. So we'll take this trail and eventually so we'll here. get back to that split we started at with the Her, uh, Her Excellent. and Deer or Cedar Trail. So we'll get back Perfect. there. Perfect. Perfect. Now this... This center is not a place to picnic. This is really just a place to walk and for your dogs to pick up sticks. <laughs> so, so Crystal, this is I think your second 
a third video, maybe fourth video. I think it's my fourth with you. What do you think people will, what do you think the benefit of this type of content is for our viewers? Uh, well, one thing that, uh, I, well, I'll say this. Fairfax County is large. It's a vast area. Um, and so you may think when you move to Fairfax County, you're going to live in one area. And you'll probably have recreational activities throughout lots of different areas. And while that's partially true, for the most part, people tend to stay very local. Like you will form a life where you live. So I think these are great videos because they show you what's available in your community or just within a few minutes of your community. Uh, because most people who live in Southern Fairfax County aren't gonna go all the way up to Herndon right. for recreation activities. That's true. So I think that it's a great opportunity to see what's available near your specific part of Fairfax County. Well said. That cool tree. That is a cool tree. Abraham would love to stand Abraham would love that. Our son, our oldest our son, oldest. loves nature and cool things. Yes, he, and he loves fallen trees. He, likes, he does. He likes to stand, stand there near the roots. I should make a great thumbnail. <laughs> We're at the 31 minute mark of our walk. I'd imagine we have what, maybe like 20 more minutes of walking? Based on that line. Perhaps. It kind of feels like it's almost like a straight line back to the, that fork in the road. Mm -hmm. As straight as you're gonna find in the park <laughs> as we take, as we round this turn. So another thing that I find interesting about Fairfax County or North Virginia is uh, <clears throat> parks are very different here than what, when we live, we're from New Orleans originally. And when we think of, think of a park, we think of, you know, picnic tables right. and well, really city park, right? Right. And I think that when you see parks in Northern Virginia, you get a really different experience. Before moving here, I would have thought this was a forest. <laughs> Why would I possibly walk into a forest? Are there bears there? Um, oh, hold on. Look at that. So this is just a completely different experience than what we had in other parts of the country. So that's what I'll give Rock Creek Park. Rock Creek Park has the same appeal right with the hiking right but there are also lots of dedicated areas to for enjoy picnicking, for picnicking yeah. lots of shelters things like that so i give rock creek park credit for that i would say that the um great falls also has that going for that's it true. as well that's true and Burke lake park too um Berkeley. really i'm just comparing it to this park in particular right 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 how does this park compare yeah. yes but this park also has the historic house that I mentioned, and they have tours there, which that's not available at other parks. You can't tour the historic, you know, there is no historic house at other parks. Um, but you also have the opportunity to rent that house for events. Um, they host different events there throughout the year, actually. So each park is different. It has its own little, you know, little things about it that makes it special. I'm going to switch up my arm, holding this camera.
You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to tell people how to start the process at the beginning of the video. Oh. <clears throat> yes. Uh, in the description of this video, there will be a perfect home questionnaire. In that questionnaire, you use that to start the process. So you fill it out and then we will schedule a time to either for a phone call or a Zoom session to answer any questions and kind of and put together a plan for your relocation needs. In addition to helping people relocate to the area, we also help people who are just looking for, looking to move to a better area, help them improve their location. Improvement location consultant, is that? <laughs> you can't see me, YouTube, but I'm shaking my head, no. Yeah. Some of these trees look like. <laughs> Are you looking last, at that one right there? That's yeah, the one I was looking last at too. Leg. She has been through it, huh? How are your fingertips? I'm fine. It's not. It's not that cold today. Yeah. The tree. Look at that tree there. I know. The stories that tree has, huh? <laughs> All right, we're we've made it to the fork in the road. It looks like the kiddos are now out and about. Little field trip looks like. You made it to this part in the video thank you so much for watching all the way through if you have a part of northern virginia you want us to catch and tour for you we're always looking for suggestions put those down below and we'll add them to the list our goal is over the next eight years to catch all the parks and and outdoor features that the Northern Virginia area has to offer. Oh, what's that you say? Oh, what, what happens in eight years? That's when my youngest son goes off to college. He graduates high school, I graduate parenting. You mean uh, you graduate to the next stage of parenting? Yes, that, that's what I said. Parenting young adults? That's what I said. Oh, we have the adventurers. Off the trail. Oh, wow, it's a lot of kids. Is it lunchtime? <clears throat> For elementary school kids, their lunch is around 11.45, so they may just have opted out of virtual learning. Mm -hmm. Like we're leaving just in time. That's true.
Good morning. Good morning. These birders <laughs> are serious. I bet there are even more of them earlier this morning. Oh, we yeah. didn't even come out until nine. That's true. That's true. It's funny if you if you know you know. Yeah. We've gone to several parks, never ran into the birders. We come here and it's almost like they had a meetup. <laughs> Well, I do know there's a birded group that meets here. I don't know what day of the week they do. And also, um, you can, they, they have uh, tour guides that do bird watching. Oh. Not now, uh, but you know, pre-coronavirus they did. Pre-pandemic, uh, yeah. Pre-pandemic they did. Um, so I know that that was available. They also have like nature classes and things at this location. Okay. Or at least they, like I said, they did. And we're back. Back to civilization. Back to the visitor center. How long was that? That was 42 minutes. Okay, 42 minutes of an entire park. Let's just Although, go walk let's around. See, I'll say, it looks like there's a little something over here. Let's see. Okay, it's it's not. It's just uh, it's gonna lead us to maybe some seating, and that's it. <clears throat> That's a cool building. <laughs> That's it. Oh, does it not go around? Mm -hmm. Okay. Looks like there's a water pit and instead of a fire pit. All right, if you have any questions about homes in this area, there's a link in the description, or you can call or text me at 703-539-2053. You can also shoot me an email to abraham at askawalker.com. Well, Crystal, thank you for joining us again on another walk. My pleasure good time and we will see you on the next video peace